I started with pharmaceutical executives, pharmaceutical managers, and pharmaceutical medical representatives. I think teaching them, training them. And I consider this opportunity as a great opportunity in my life. I have not got so far an exclusive audience like this in my life. Well qualified teachers. So I must be really thankful for you know, because you are well informed. So if I commit mistake in this session, I know, I may not speak out, but still you feel bad about me. I know. Uh, my group like this, a group is very interesting to attend. And it's a texture of your abilities also. And today I'm supposed to speak on environmental science. Thank God it's a good session. But for the guys, made good for the teachers, you made good for slumber, asleep. So, the sort of things which I may think we see, so we will not be nervous most of the time. Even scientists like J.C. Bose, where he may be told many times that they are also having emotions, thinking capacities. I wouldn't use the term intelligence, but there are scientists who say that they also are capable of good intellectual activities also in their realm. Whereas in our realm, we humans, though we all know these things, we just repeat. What is environmental science basically? The environmental science is the scientific study of the ways in which biological, physical and chemical components of the environment interact and the interrelation between. That is what a scientist is doing. I hope we all understand. Of course, it's simply it says this, the often used is ecology. Ecology also is uh, sometimes used one for the other. Ecology for the term of environmental science also sometimes. And ecology in the place of environment. It will remain there intact for a long time, not short term. Whereas ecology is of course, the definition goes like this. Ecology is a study of interactions of living organisms with their environment. Little differences. And including the relation intra individual relations, intra ingredient relations, the relation that which in, uh, exists in between the ingredients as well as the science, but two three topics we need. And there is some term also which we have to have a glance about, that is environmental technology. It is an evolving subject even right now. Environmental technology is the use of all this equipment to preserve this law as such and give it to the posterity as the posterity has a right to inherit this universe intact as we are receiving from God. If you all believe in God, I will believe like that. Okay. So it is our duty to preserve this environment and the community. So beyond this is not required. Three subjects which I am going to talk about this as in grade. For students of chemistry, to a certain extent students of environmental economics, as in grade also may be known. But still, we will just uh, recap the whole thing again. As in grade, we will currently rush off. The very fast. Any form of precipitation from heaven to earth, earth, which is as in a heaven and sky. Right. We have doubt about heaven. No. From heaven, I to explain here is how this acidic rain precipitates. How hazardous it is to all living forms on this earth and how it can be prevented or how we can minimize the harmful effect of this acid rain. Acid rain is the result of excessive emissions, industrial, automobile exhaust, all these emissions which includes sulfur and nitrogen caused by human activity. So, in the beginning itself, I told you that human is, human being is, so, again, the connection, the connection, the relation, the indebtedness to this mother nature. From that to this one, what is the progress we have made? Now, of course, the pictures also, and the pictures also cannot be shown because of the technology is sufficient for the time being. If the power and other things comes, so the technology will, I'll show you those pictures also. The detrimental effect of this acid rains is not only on human beings, but the whole flora and fauna of this world, this cloud, this universe, everything. How this acid rain precipitates? You know, the, the major ingredient in this is our 
carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, because of the emissions, it goes on. It, it gets increased in the atmosphere. And in the purest form, rainwater is just like distilled water. Neutral is absolutely, the so pH is neutral, and it is absolutely silent. You will be in silent. Isn't it? Huh? Normal pH of rainwater available to us will be between uh, 6 to 5 minutes. First thing I'm going to say, I told you carbon dioxide, and when the water walks through the atmosphere, many particles entangle the atmosphere. Supporting me or against me? Now uh, this lightning increases the pH because it acts as a catalyst of the uh, chemical reactions and the volcanic eruption. Uh, when the carbonic acid is uh, the, the pH will be 6 and 5.0, between 6 and 5.0. So it is considered as very harmless and the reaction is reversible also. No much concern about carbonic acid. The problem comes when sulfur is there. Yeah? When the sulfur content in the atmosphere is too much, the sulfur reacts because of its high corrosive action. How this corrosive action is supposed to be given? Acid reacts with both calcium carbonate and forms calcium hydrogen carbonate, calcium bicarbonate. Two substances. Two substances are formed in the buildings and monuments, calcium bicarbonate, and these substances are water soluble. So once it is what I had a picture of a uh, uh, also, Tajma. Very good example. So it gets eroded, the face gets defaced, you understand. And the beauty gets lost. So the hand is losing a beauty because of acid rain. And this is acid, acid in the rain causes force, like sodium bicarbonate, calcium bicarbonate, and calcium hydrogen carbonate. This gets dissolved in water and gets washed off. So corrosiveness is precipitated on the buildings and monuments. And it has eroded many monuments, like she has mentioned, Jagma in India. Of course, the same falls Cathedral in London and the Statue of Liberty. All these are subjected to the habits played by acid rain. So acid rain is not a simple thing. So we are not very familiar with acid rain in India or at least in this regard. And even glass veins get corroded and the crust gets formed on this the glass veins. And in, in, the, the crust cannot be removed. Sometimes it uh, becomes fragile and more fragile. And you are detached, it falls down. And this is an power steel rail, railway lines, railway tracks are everywhere. It, it has its own strong corrosive effect on natural ingredients also. So what I mentioned about that damage is it works on infrastructure. Human good infrastructure cause harm for one. How the harm is precipitated? By diversity stock means uh, some trees are dead and removed from the earth. Yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah, of course. Yeah. You know there's something called micropose on some other leaves. This micropose gets damaged, through which the strands absorb carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. And this process is the basic process from which the whole world gets it. You understand? This absorption of carbon dioxide through the micropose of the leaves is a basic phenomenon from where the whole food chain is being made. Basic food comes from it. It's being quartered, blocked.